Hi everybody and welcome to Survival Dads. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, dry bags or in particular this one. This is the dry bag that comes with a Zelta shelter. And I want to kind of talk about uh, some things that this can be useful for. So for me, um, when I am out camping, um, I use my Zelta shelter because it's nice and lightweight. And when I do lightweight camping, I don't take very many uh, luxuries. One of the things I need to use to sleep with is a pillow. Now what you can do, you can take a dry bag, like this one, fill it up with air, do it up nice and tight, and you can use it as a pillow. Love it. If it's a bit too high, let some air out, do it back up again, and it's the right height for you. Another really useful thing you can use a dry bag for is to put your boots in. So I don't like taking my boots inside the tent with me, uh, mainly because they're filthy normally. <laughs> What I tend to do is I leave them outside the tent. Um, and that's not a good thing because normally your boots are nice and warm, it's a nice place that creatures want to go in and hide, mainly slugs. And I don't want to put my foot on a slug in my boot because it's just disgusting. So, what you can do is you can put your boots inside a dry bag, such as this, do it up, leave it outside your tent, the boots are going to be dry and insect and mollusk free. Is it a mollusk? Probably, I don't know. Um, free. <laughs> um, free in the morning. Likewise, if you are hammock camping, same rule applies. Your boots are nice and dry on the floor and free of any creatures. Another useful thing to do is put wet clothes in or even dry clothes that you want to stay dry. So that's another reason why a dry bag is really useful. And kind of like an emergency use um, can be really useful as a flotation aid um, if you need to cross a frozen well, not frozen, a unfrozen river, obviously because you can cross a frozen river. <laughs> if you need to cross a river, um, or lake, or body of water, um, or maybe even rescue someone if you're beach camping, something like that, um, then obviously this can be used as a flotation aid as well. Um, also my storage drum. Um, and that's it. So that's all I can think of right now um, for things that you can use a dry bag for. Um, this is the Zelta Shelter dry bag, it is really good quality, um, any dry bag I pretty much do, but as I'm making a video about the Zelta Shelter, which is this above me right now, it's a tent and it's a tarp and it's a bivy, really cool, um, I thought I'd do a video about this because it's a really cool feature um, about the actual Zelta system. So there we go, that is what I think you can use a dry bag for, if you have any suggestions or things that you use a dry bag for, um, please leave them in the comments below, i um, love to hear about it, I'm always looking to learn new things. Um, and that's what this channel is about. I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to help other people learn. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Yeah, chill out now. And I'll see you soon. Ah.